The Roban Drink Mixer, an iconic Roban product and one of the first products to be designed nearly 60 years ago. Today, the Drink Mixer is one of Roban's most well-known products with its highly engineered design, bold aesthetic and reliable performance, making it a must-have for any cafe, restaurant or food service outlet. This compact unit comes with a standard cup, two beta heads and is available in a range of colours. It features a powerful two-speed motor which is controlled by the switch at the top of the machine. With a small footprint, this unit can be placed in an easily accessible location without taking up too much bench space. To set up your drink mixer, first remove all packaging materials, tape and any protective plastic from the appliance. Plug the IEC power connector into the base of the unit, ensuring the cord set retainer is clipped in place, retaining the plug. Once connected, place the product upright on a firm level surface in your desired position. Ensure all switches are in the off position before connecting to the power supply. The cup holder or actuator can be positioned in place on the machine by simply using the location holes at the back to position it over the screws and the internal magnets will retain it in place. To check its operation, simply lift the top cup hook up and then release it and the magnet should pull it back down to rest on the lower cup support position. As mentioned, the mixer comes fitted with a two-piece stainless steel universal beater and a molded plastic satin beater. The two-piece stainless steel universal beater is designed for best performance when using both milk and ice cream. The single-piece universal and the satin beater can be used for both ice cream and milk-only shakes. Before you begin using your machine, make sure you have the suited beater head installed. To remove a beater head, Hold the mixer spindle firmly and unscrew the beater by turning clockwise. To fit a new beater or a beater assembly, assemble the parts in the desired order and then hold the mixer spindle firmly, screwing the assembly to the spindle by turning it anti-clockwise. With the machine plugged in and your desired beater attached, you are now ready to operate. Here we will be using the One Piece Universal Beater for a milkshake. Select your desired start speed. Here we have it on the low speed in position 1. Next, place the ingredients to be mixed into the cup, starting with your milk. The mixer is designed to work best with a fluid volume of 180 to 210 milliliters. Increasing this could cause product to be thrown from the cup during use. An important tip to remember is that the colder the milk is, the thicker the shake. Additionally, light milk and skim milk will froth more than full cream milk. Once all your ingredients are in, feed the cup over the mixing spindle placing the rim of the cup behind the top hook of the cup holder. Lift the cup up to start the mixing process. If desired, the bottom of the mixing cup can be placed on the lower cup support for hands-free mixing. You can increase or lower the speed during mixing. After the desired mixing duration, remove the cup by first lifting and unclipping the bottom of the mixing cup and then lowering the cup to release it from the upper cup support clip. Always make sure you wait for the mixer spindle and beta to stop rotating before removing the cup completely. This will prevent mixture from being thrown off the beta. Cleaning should be carried out regularly after each use to avoid the buildup of spilled liquids. After each use, clean the motor spindle by placing warm water in the cup and then mixing it on a slow speed. For any spilled droplets, the base of the machine can be simply wiped down with a damp cloth. To clean all surfaces of the appliance, unplug the machine from the power and use warm soapy water and a damp non-abrasive cloth to clean the product thoroughly. Several times each day, remove the cup holder and wash in warm soapy water to maintain smooth operation and avoid the buildup of liquids behind it. Do not clean with the use of a water jet or immerse in water. Do not use caustic or abrasive cleaning products as they will damage the appliance. Do not use chloride-based cleaners or sanitizers on these machines.